Hey everyone, just sitting out here in the desert with my photography gear. Perfect, perfect place because it is a really bright sunny day and most cameras nowadays, they have an LCD uh, screen on the back, like a travel camera. They don't have a viewfinder you can stick your eye up to. So when you turn on, you know, a camera like this, let's take the uh, this Panasonic LX10, you can kind of see what's going on, but it's not really... You, you can't hardly see anything. You can't see the exposure. You can't see any, really anything in here in the bright light. It's just not bright enough. Well, that's where this new gadget comes in. This is so simple. It's just the cover that covers the camera screen. It has a lens on the end of it called a diopter. And when you look through it, check this out. Put the camera right in there. Look at that. It totally becomes a viewfinder. It becomes a normal viewfinder for a camera. And if you don't want to use it, you just take it off. And when you put it on here, it creates a perfect, perfect viewfinder. And it's a nice big one, too. Even the, the big professional uh, cameras that have viewfinders don't even have eyepieces this big, usually. So this is a great thing to have. So I'm going to compare these. And I brought some cameras here that I think are representational of what a lot of people would have. You know, cameras that only have an LCD screen but no viewfinder. We've got a Lumix LX10. I've got a Lumix GF2. I've got a Sony 5100, a Canon EOS M100, and a Panasonic Lumix GX850. Now these are great little portable cameras that I just like to take around. They're great because they're small and they have, uh, except for the LX10, they all have removable lenses so you can get that blurry background. But when you're out in bright sunlight, you can't see what the, you can't see what's on the screen. So these things are great. So I'm going to just uh, compare these. And I, I bought a bunch of these and I'm just going to compare them and I'm going to keep one or two of them and then give the rest away to you guys, whoever wants them. Uh, it's a great gadget to have. Most of them, like you could just, for example, you could just hold it on there like this. And the other thing that's cool about it is it, it fits and you can buy these in different sizes, two and a half inch, three inch, three and a half inch, depending what size screen you have. Look at that, it fits perfectly on there. It fits absolutely perfect on there. And the other cool thing is it still leaves room on this side to where you can work the dials and everything without having anything interfere with it. So you can look through here and you can still work the dials and the buttons and everything off to the right or up top or wherever. The only thing you're covering is the screen. And these things are really lightweight. Most of them have an adjustable diopter so you can focus exactly for whatever vision you have. And there's a few little variances that they have, but most of them are kind of the same. You could just hold it on there like this, like I'm doing right now, you know, you just do your thing. Although most of them come with a little, a little frame that you adhere to your camera with double stick tape. And it's just a little low profile frame that sticks on there. And it just stays with the camera at all times. And when you want to put this thing on, like this one here, it's got little magnetized pieces of metal on the end of it. And then it just, it just clips to it and it just becomes part of the camera. And then when you're done, you just unpop it. And uh, some of them have clamps, some of them have magnets. Or an elastic band. But they're all about the same. They all magnify about three times, or around 300%. One of them does a little more, one of them does a little less. But I'm going to compare these and that's what this video is about. Because this is the coolest device. So you could turn a normal little tiny portable, compact, almost pocket camera uh, into, you know, I'm, I'm all about making things small and lightweight. Um, the only problem with these small lightweight cameras, I, plus the blurry background, which means a removable lens and all that, but the problem with these kind of cameras is, again, bright sunlight, you can't see the screen, so this, this is where, this is like the greatest, simple, sometimes the simple things in life are just, <laughs> are just a godsend. Um, so what we have today is, um, this is a hood man, hood loop, uh, H32MB. It's a real simple device. Um, you can change the, the focus on it. It has some threading underneath that looks like you can mount it onto a tripod or a stamp, but what it's really for is to use a plate that joins it to the camera underneath by screwing the eyepiece and the camera together. This is the uh, Pro-Am ProView V43. This magnifies two and a half times. This is an Exit Elite this one magnifies 3.4 times, which is actually the most magnification out of all of these. We have a Kino Technic LCDVF. We have an Elvid OptiView 50, that's, that's this one. 
magnifies three times. And this is an Elvid OptiView 250. So we'll just run through these real quick. Um, it's a really cool thing to have because you don't have to have it attached at all times. If you're, you know, not in bright sunlight, you don't need it. But if you are in super bright sunlight, it's a nice thing to have in your bag. It doesn't weigh anything. You just put it on there, and now all of a sudden your cheap little camera becomes a professional viewfinder camera. Coolest thing in the world. Um, so, the... I don't like big things like this. It's just big. I like the smaller, the better. So, this one, the Exit, is kind of cool because it's small, it's lightweight, and, uh... See, look at the difference between the two. You can see... One's smaller and one's bigger. I'm going to go for the smaller one because if I wanted big, I'd have my full frame viewfinder professional cameras with me. But that's not what I'm trying to accomplish here. So that's the first knock against this one here. Um, here's another small one. This is the um, Kino Technic. Uh, this one is kind of cool. Uh, the thing about, which one is it? This one here, it doesn't have an adjustable diopter. It just, it's just kind of like a loop. Like, you know, those cheap loops you have that you look to look at a piece of paper to blow something up. Look how big the eyepiece is on that thing. I mean, there's no camera out there that has an eyepiece that big. This is huge. Huge. I mean, this is bigger than a human eye. It's just amazing how, wow. I mean, this is like looking through at, at a movie screen. It's amazing. <laughs> hey. Um, then we have the huge Elvid uh, OptiView 250. This thing comes with a contraption on the bottom, which has a... Uh, it has another contraption which hooks onto the camera, which, which then has a quick release. So basically, you, you quick release the thing and it pops off. But again, look how big that is compared... I mean, it's kind of defeating the purpose of having a small camera. So again, this one, I'm not too thrilled about it, but look at the size of the eyepiece on that. If you want something huge, if you've got poor eyesight, the other thing is you, you can put it this way on this eye or this way on this eye, which is really neat. One note about the ones that have the, the magnetic uh, metal around the edges, which are made for clamping onto the, the frame that sticks to your camera, is these magnets here around the edge, and I noticed this about some cameras that have flip-up screens, like the 5100 and the GX850, is once the magnets get near the camera, the screen, the image in the screen, flips upside down. What it's doing is it's giving the camera a false message that the screen is up, and it makes the image go upside down, so you cannot use the ones that have the magnets on the end with cameras like the 5100 and the GX850 because the magnets make the screen flip upside down and it's just really weird. It doesn't do it with the uh, M100, the, the Canon. And so if you have something like a, a Sony 5100 or a GX850, don't get the ones with the metal, the, the magnets on the end. The, uh, L, the, uh, that would be the uh, Kinotech LCDVF or the Pro-Am USA. Don't get these ones for those cameras. Um, but they work okay with Canon and things like that. Don't leave home without one. You know, you don't always need a, uh, a fancy, professional, big, huge camera to do great photography when you're outdoors in bright sunlight. Uh, like this camera here, for example, the Lumix Panasonic GF2. It doesn't have a flip-up screen. It's small, it's tiny, it's like a compact camera, but it has an interchangeable lens mount. So you can use any lens you want on there. And the thing I like about it, it has a hot shoe. A hot shoe means you can do outdoor flash photography for filling in the shadows. I mean, when, you, when you're outdoors. So this tiny little camera, because it has a hot shoe and it's tiny and it has a removable lens, makes it something that I want to play with when I'm outdoors, when I'm taking photography. The only thing missing is I can't see. So that's where these things come in. So now this becomes, I, I was almost going to get rid of this camera and I still might, but the reason was because I couldn't do this, but now I can. Thanks to this simple, simple device. I mean, you could almost make your own with black cardboard, but then you have to stick a lens on the end of it. 
I'm gonna keep uh, probably two of these and the rest of them I'll give away. So I'm gonna put a list down below in the description box how big the eyepiece is, how much they weigh, and what the size is. I think these are the greatest things in the world because we can take, for example, the Sony 5100. Because this is the smallest of all the uh, APS-C Sony cameras. Everybody's using the 63, 6400s nowadays. Uh, this one has a flip-up screen. The big deal with the 6400 is it has a flip-up screen. But it's got that weird flip-up screen, you know, like eh, 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 up and out. This one just flips right up. I mean, it's the easiest thing. It's the smallest camera. This is the highest resolution, smallest. This is about as small as this little Lumix LX10. I mean, look, it's almost the same size as this camera. But this is APS-C Sony with removable lenses. This is almost professional quality, but it's so tiny. So the thing that frustrates me about this is it doesn't have a viewfinder. I can't use it out in the sunlight, but now I can't because I can just use this thing. It's the coolest thing because now that you're looking through this, you've got a professional viewfinder camera. I think I'm repeating myself, but I think you're getting the point. I can turn any little tiny camera into a professional viewfinder camera. Coolest thing in the world. That leaves me down to the two that I like the most. And that is the Exit and the, uh, the Hoodman. These are real simple, cheap little ones. <laughs> Probably the cheapest ones out of all of them. The Exit has a bigger eyepiece. Uh, it does not have an adjustable diopter. The Hoodman does. They're both really small and lightweight. And uh, nothing fancy about them, but they work. These two are great. But, and they're really lightweight, even though they're big, they're lightweight, but they have the magnets on the end, so you got to make sure you have a camera that is not affected by a magnet near the eyepiece. Uh, these two, the Elvids, they're okay. This one's too big and bulky, and this one, even though it's similar to this one, the Exit, they do, neither of these have an adjustable eyepiece. This one, the Exit, I like the look of it better when you're looking through it. It seems clearer and sharper. This one isn't as much. So... My favorites out of all of these would be, if I'm, the ones I'm going to keep, is the Exit and the Hoodman. Those are the ones I'm going to, uh, to keep. So these are the ones I'm going to give away. Uh, anybody who, who uh, wants these, there's four, actually four people. So I'm going to give this to uh, the first four people that email free stuff at marcuspix.com. Haven't won anything in the last six months. Have an American mailing address. Email your address, an American mailing address, the first four people that actually email an American mailing address to free stuff at marcuspix.com. I will send you these. Uh, tell me which one, if you are interested in one in particular. I can't guarantee you that's the one that's left, but I'll, I'll do what I can. Uh, just give my stuff away. These are the two that it's down to for me. The Hoodman has an adjustable diopter lens. The Exit doesn't, but the Exit has a huge eyepiece. The Hoodman has an okay eyepiece. Um, this one's a little lighter, I think. Yeah, it's a little lighter. So out of these two, the winner, favorite out of all of these, the one that wins it for me is, drum roll, the Exit. The exit's the one for me. The Hoodman's okay. Uh, the picture, when you look through it, it's not really that big. For some reason, this one, the picture is so huge. The image you're looking through, it's like, whoa! It's like you're looking at a surround sound and vision, diorama vision or something. It's amazing how huge, like, it's like, it's like I'm looking like, like I don't even, I'm not even looking through anything. It's like this is what a human eye sees. This is amazing. Uh, I don't even. It, it doesn't have an adjustable anything, but I don't need it. Everything's super focused and it's super bright. This is a lot brighter than this is for some reason. This is darker and the picture's smaller. This one's brighter and sharper. And this is amazing. It's it's. I think it's the most lightweight out of all of these. So this one does it for me. This is the one. It just. It's just a pleasure. I'm sticking it on my 5100 right now. My God, the view, the it, the, the what I'm seeing is. It's like better than looking through a professional full frame camera. Like no camera has an eyepiece this big. This is just amazing. This is better than a, you know, $4,000 professional camera when you're looking through it. And that's all the difference is. It's like why pay the extra money and have a huge camera uh, when you can just stick this little cheap thing on there and get something even better. So this is the winner for me by far. I will not go anywhere traveling on a trip hiking without this and a small camera it's just 
uh, it changes. It's a it's a game changer. This it changes everything. It makes the undesirable little LCD screen cameras be like the greatest thing in the world. It changes it. It's like ah, I don't even know how to describe it. So that's my favorite. That's it. So um, if you don't have one of these, I would surely get one of these. It's just a great device to have. That's it for the gadget idea of the day. My name is Marcus. This channel is Marcus Fix. That's with a K, M-A-R-K-U-S. Subscribe, tell your friends about this channel. And I'm here to show you weird, cool, fun things, gadgets people don't think about, or maybe thought about and then forgot about. I'm here to tell you about them and show you cute little hacks that you can do to not have to take big, giant, heavy professional equipment with you everywhere you go. So, I'm just going to sit here in the sun and enjoy the rest of the day, so I'll see you in the next video.